Okay, so now it's getting to more how to use all this stuff. And I got some uh, requests. Uh, how, what is a ZL object and uh, uh, what is good for? And this, it's really hard to explain uh, that uh, without the mu real musical context or why you need them, why should you learn them. So let's just do something like, so um, this is the uh, fiddle pitch tracking, uh, I think tutorial number um, there. Uh, six number two, so you can uh, review that if you like. So, um, so, so it's tracking like this. It's tracking okay, right? So, how if you want to uh, uh, store some pitches that I played um, into a list? For example, how if, okay, so how if I want to um, store the pitch that was uh, a little longer than other notes. For example, uh, how if, um, let's say, use this uh, object called a uh, clocker. Clocker is, um, it can give you a elapsed time. Is it gonna be a, uh, oh yeah, elapsed time. Um, yeah, sometimes these help files are not written in human language. <laughs> so uh, you can uh, turn on and turn off and it gives you a el elapsed time. So something like this you can use. So for that I would need, um, for example, trigger object. Remember the trigger object is in tutorial. Oh gosh, um, somebody has, oh here, trigger number two. Uh, trigger is um, lesson number one okay so how if I had a trigger object okay so I need to um, turn on and turn off the trigger object but I want to um, turn it on every time I have a new note so let's say um, so this is a pitch that's coming in and rounded in the middle is you know making the simple um, MIDI note uh, you know, and without the uh, repetition. So this would work only if you're tracking without repetition, right? So let's say I'm just, this is as uh, um, this um, display of an integer. I don't know if I covered it, did I? Um, so you can go to the integer and go to the inspector and you can choose how it should be uh, display decimal or MIDI. So I said MIDI so I don't have to translate in my head what is F3. I don't remember. Um, I only remember A is 69, G is 55, C is 60 and so on and so forth because I use them all the time. So how if I do this? So every time, so this means every time the no, uh, no, new note comes in it sends a 0 then sends a 1. So um, and then gives you uh, elapsed time between the note between a new note so let's see so when is a long note for example right you know long note there you go right. so let's say uh, how about this if i have a long note more than say i don't know uh, one second, then um, say yes, it's a long note. So let's uh, put the change object again. And this is um, compare, right? Com compare uh, more than. So this would be uh, like that, right? So let's see. <laughs> Clocker is idle like this, and um, uh, if I just shut up for more than three seconds, it gives you that. So you might want to um, limit that uh, silentness, and you can use something called this. Oops, um, split. 
oops, is that split? So let's say between one millisecond and uh, uh, fifteen millisecond, second and a half. Uh, that that would only go through this evaluation of whether it's more than one second or not. So this means that it filters out anything if it's more than uh, 1500. The reason for that is that maybe I want to hold a long note, a uh, longer note, but then I just want to be evaluated between, um, you know, I'm not going to hold it more than 1500. See if I, uh, if this clocker says more than 1500, just ignore it, just forget about it. So that's, that's what it is. Okay, so uh, now we know we have this, uh, um, this thing, right? So now, um, let's say that um, I want to store these, okay, only the long notes, right? Only the long, long notes. So I am going to um, use a ZL, says uh, ZL group. Okay, let's say I want to gather uh, four notes, four long notes only. So how do you do that? Uh, there's an object called int object. It just stores a um, integer. So there's also a float, if you wish. So uh, store one object value. So this uh, it's turned out to be a more of a lesson. Okay, so look, um, I have an int coming in. And you can send the bang. So look at this. So uh, int is coming in, nothing is coming out. I stopped, bang, and it comes through. So it's just a placeholder, right? So it's coming in, coming in, bang. So in this case, what I want to do is when it's uh, longer than one second, I want to send it. Ah, it's a long note. So um, I'm going to send a bang over here. Uh, bang, bang here. Okay. Um, so this would say that when it's a long, when it is a long note, then um, get a series. So wh what do I do with this number? Here, the uh, note number is coming in, right? So instead of this, I am going to have to, um, I'm going to have to, a uh, um, send in a um, uh, integer like that. So. Uh, when you edit your trigger object, the input and out outlets, um, inlets and um, inlets gets uh, messed up, so you have to make sure. So when it's um, um, when when the note is longer than one second, then um, send in the bang. So uh, go in here. Let's see if this is going to work. So watch this number. Um, what was that intonation? So it's coming through, and okay. So now I want to uh, group them. Only the long notes. So what I do, what you do, or you do, is um, just get them in here. So what this does is when it gathers, I said group four, then outputs it. It's as simple as that. So I just do like sixty one, sixty. Uh, to 60. Now this is my third, fourth number, then out. See? 0, 1, 2, 3. So it gathers it. Right? So uh, let's just, you know, this is not exactly a very accurate uh, thing to do, but if you like to do some interactive stuff, you can just uh, go in here. And actually you can clear this. So uh, let's just uh, look at the ZL object. So ZL object is a very mighty toolkit type thing and it's huge. And if you have any list um, thing that you want to do, you can just put, you know, do anything, anything with ZL. Um, so if you know ZL, you, your possibility of, you know, manipulating your um, music uh, interactive uh, scheme uh, gets very interesting and strong. So um, I'm trying to be neat. 
Um, okay, so, um, oh, I did ignore the, what I was trying to show you. So G, um, it says G, so the uh, group is, oh, is it right here? Oh, yes, there it is. I guess this is one of the important ones. So um, uh, the group, I'll put the list after um, items are received. So uh, it says group, this is the group, right? And you can actually clear it, but you have to send a message called ZL clear. So uh, that empties the bucket, so to speak, right? So um, if you if you would, so it's ZL clear, you can have it right here just in case. Okay, so now I am going to uh, gather, or try to gather four long notes. And maybe I'll ZL clear before I do that. Okay, so I turn my note on and oh, um. I think it did. 